Wow, wow, wow. This is wild. You may have seen in the Senators' home opener, fans cheered for Shane Pinto. Fans are chanting, we want Pinto. And this has been a bit of a Sega, as the team has literally no cap space to sign him, and yet, clearly, he's a wanted player. He was reportedly asking for 2 to $2.5 million, and with no cap space, that's quite literally impossible. It's been confusing up until now. Reports are coming out right now that Senators' second-round pick of the 2019 draft, Shane Pinto, will be suspended for 41 years games for violating the NHL's gambling rules. Now this is very early news so exact details have yet to come out but this is the first time in league history that a player will be suspended for something like this and again it's not clear exactly what he did. There's been no reports suggesting that he bet on anything NHL related but this suspension seems to have technically already started with game one of the Ottawa season according to Friedman but again he's not on a contract. Again he was looking for something in the range of 2 to 2.5 but with this news now, Ottawa has rescinded all of their offers, and so what happens now? According to this, he may have to sign his qualifying offer to serve his suspension, which would be just 874000 but I don't know if that makes any sense, and yeah, I don't, this is just, it's wild news, and again, I have to stress that there is a lot that still needs to come out as to what exactly he did here and what the suspension is going to look like, but man, I just can't help but feel like there's just something odd here. It almost feels hypocritical. We have been getting sports betting shoved down our throats at an insane rate. I mean, literally, look at his helmet. The Ottawa Senators are sponsored by Bet99, FanDuel, all the ads with McDavid, Gretzky. It's okay to promote it. It's okay for those players promoting it to make money using dollars made from fans betting. But don't you dare use those betting services. And I get it. You obviously need to uphold the integrity of the game and the league. And having players betting on sports is extremely bad for that so i'm not suggesting we should start doing that but it just all feels wrong somehow i don't know i get it but let me hear your thoughts down below i'd really love to hear what you have to say i'm sure plenty more will come out in the next days and weeks but that's it for now thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one